Today I review the Vivo Home 2200 watt 400 RPM electric demolition jackhammer, the heavy duty version. Will it do the job? Look at this little beauty. It's a 2200 watt electric demolition hammer by Vivo Home. So, just got it. I am extending the uh, terrace of the cottage, but I need to um, sink some holes and run some channels to put some timbers through uh, in this rocky ground. So the only way I was going to do it was with a, a demolition hammer. Um, I can't remember the price, <laughs> like all the other stuff, but I will put it on the screen for you. Uh, but look at this, brand new out of the box. So it looks pretty sturdy. You get a um, pair of white gloves if you're into snooker, etc. It could come in handy. Uh, the instructions. This beast, I'll put the weight up on screen now. Yeah, initially it's relatively heavy for an old boy like me. Um, we just need to slide these cameras out. So we've got this straight edge and uh, like a pick, pick edge here. Um, lovely little face mask, look at that. Let's try this on. Really looking good, no use at all. But, uh, I think they morally obliged to put it in there. And we've got a hammer here. This is a USA uh, or US version because I'm in the Bahamas. And then we've got some general, uh, no oil in there, just, uh, just some general bits and bobs, Allen key, spanner, oil dispenser, etc. Oh, pair of goggles as well. So they'll come in handy. Put this here. Uh, so a wrench or so. And that's it. That's what comes in it. In a really sturdy box with uh, wheels. So you can wheel it around. It's like a hand luggage on, a, on an aircraft. Really handy. So I will put the weight of it all on uh, screen when I, uh, when I go online later on. And the price as well. So uh, we need to give it a go. So you've seen me hammering away to my heart's content. Um, I think it's great, really good. I've cleared the channel, uh, six foot, seven foot long, uh, in the in a really rocky, laden soil um, within like five minutes and then just dug it out pretty easy. Uh, uh, so yeah, really good. Uh, one complaint is the instructions that I got with it. Um, mention a different clasp system. So I had to work out how to uh, put the hammer in. Um, but you know, that took a couple of minutes. So just, but just be aware, I'll, I'll do a little video at the end of this one, just to show you how this system works. Cause uh, it took me a couple of minutes to work out, especially when the instructions were talking about a large clasp. Uh, I was thinking maybe that the, the is missing from the box etc but it's just outdated instructions they've updated this but haven't been bothered to uh, outdate the uh, sort out the instructions but uh it's not the end of the world because it's quite cheap and it's doing a brilliant job um now i need to dig uh, some hole po uh, some post holes at the end i don't think this will be any good because it's not deep enough i need really a vertical uh, hammer but we will uh i'll give it a go and um i'll do a little video on that but yeah i would buy this just to be aware uh this is a disconnected now there has to be pressure on the hammer for the thing to work so if you were trying to hammer fresh soil it wouldn't work there has to be a you know you have to be on concrete or stone pushing into it quite hard for the system to recognize this pressure and start to hammer it that way it won't start hammering now if i switched it on it, it's not dangerous in that sense so yeah uh fair play really good um 
yeah, I'll make a, I'll put the little video on now of how to do this, and that's that. Yeah, I would buy it. So everything's simple when you know how. So we take our drill bit, and we've got this section that's been cut out. Pop it in line with this. So this face in here, in it goes. Then we bring the drill bit up. And all we have to do is pull out. Oh, it needs a bit more. You can untighten it like this. Pull out. And it needs a bit more. So I've just realized doing it horizontally, it's very difficult. So it's best to put the, uh, the hammer vertical, slide in your, uh, your piece, then you pull, rotate 180 and in. And there you go, it's locked in position. And it's supposed to be like this, loose. So I pondered, read the instructions, should it be like this? But it is. So there you go. As easy as that. Completely different to the instructions, but uh, but there you are.